Without any other further ado, our new supervisor, Dan Hanigo. The inauguration of the new town of Brookhaven supervisor who tells the crowd he won't let grass grow under his feet. One of the biggest hurdles that we hear in the community, in the business community, from the average member of the public is how long it takes to get things done in a municipality. And on the day the town supervisor is sworn in, news that the Brookhaven landfill will remain open at least two years longer than previously expected. It's not necessarily an extension just because the waste energy facilities are a reality, a necessity on Long Island. Newsday reports Brookhaven plans to keep the landfill open to accept ash from Covanta's trash incinerators. Town officials had said previously the landfill could close as soon as 2025. We will cease taking construction and demolition debris at the end of 2024, and then we will continue taking ash, uh, not only from town of Brookhaven, Covanta, but from Islip, Smithtown, in Huntington because it's the regional Asheville that will go through 27 and will cease probably in this first month of 28. The landfill has been cited in recent years by federal and state authorities for violations of odor and emissions control regulations. In and around North Bellport near the landfill, some residents express little urgency concerning the eventual closing of the landfill. It's all right. It doesn't bother. I mean, I'm not that close, but it's all right. Enough is enough. Enough is enough! But there have been protests against the landfill, as state health department records show North Bellport has far higher than average levels of hospital emergency visits for asthma. Steve Langford for Newsday TV.